Here we have a GEC model BC 561 manufactured in 1961 radio from the UK that I've been working on that I've restored. I had this radio when I was a child and when I finally found another one I decided to buy it and restore it. What this is is it's an AM LW MW radio. It does work as AM but the unique feature of what makes this particular model famous is the design. Outside of the name badge, which I don't understand why they didn't put one on both sides, this radio is specifically designed to have no front or back side. It is the same both ways. The speaker opening is actually open on both sides as well. So you can set the radio in the middle of a room or on the beach or any place and listen to it from any direction. It's really kind of a cool kind of art deco design. These tuning scales are also exactly the same on both sides. Lay it down. And when you tune, the dials stay synchronized. Either you love this radio, or you hate this radio. That's all I'm going to say. It also came in a model BC562, which had FM and UHF sound. Which I would like to someday get. I'm going to give a demonstration of this radio on operation. This is MW, or for us it's AM, and that turns it on. The center button is off. These two are speech and fidelity, which means bass and treble. I think we are in serious, serious jeopardy. Because, in fact, I told you, I... I Did you go to the red light district? No. No. No, 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 I can tell you why. No, I'll just be honest, say it, yes, you went and do anything bad. No, what I'm telling you is that I went to the... I went to Rembrandt's house. the Beach Boys. I mean, come on. It wasn't like they were having Frank Zappa. Although they could have. Uh, Don the Snake Prune Home is 69 today. Billy D. Williams. 73. Which means we're all getting older. Uh, I read the news today. Oh boy, Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood uh, announced uh, yesterday that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is seeking the maximum civil penalty against the world's largest uh, maker of uh, cars, uh, Toyota, for failing to notify the American Safety Agency of the dangerous sticky pedal defect on at least, uh, for at least four months.
So there's nothing on the LW band, but the MW band is the equivalent of the USA AM radio band. Now Battery Maker is going to make me a battery for this and trade for another radio. This is a takes a BB29 9 volt battery which is still available in the UK as a P29 battery and they cost about fifteen twenty dollars this is all wood portable this slides right now I have a regular 9 volt battery temporarily hooked up and all the radios in the UK have to have this license which says royalty has been paid on this apparatus pursuant to a license agreement with the grantors of the broadcast sound receiver license known as as s authoritying that must be their version of the FCC so that tag probably has to be on all their radios The top is damaged, which on this particular model, it's almost impossible to find one that isn't damaged because they become brittle with age. This is 49 years old. It also has a jack for an external antenna, which the fitting actually would fit a vintage car antenna. There's supposed to be another little badge underneath the GEC that would say all transistor and of course the back of the radio is exactly the same as the front so this is going to conclude this video showing my beloved GEC model BC 561 radio that I've restored.